I don't know if, if I'm what I'm doing is right, but I think it is. And so, you know, um, yeah, like people are scared of the sun. I like getting out of the sun. I like to eat red meat. I eat butter, uh, you know, cold tubs, workout, right? Like this is the best health insurance we can give ourselves, like making sure that we do all the things that are right to keep us healthy. So... <laughs> morning straight out of bed first thing I like to do is get my cold tub you know it's one I get it out of the way because it's not something I enjoy doing but it's something that I know when I do after I do it I'll feel a lot better um, a lot of people will tell you this doesn't do anything for you and I, what I say to that is they've never done it because I don't know if it's doing anything for me like health wise but what it does for my brain mentally the 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 dopamine hit that I get the how like how amazing I feel for the next 30 minutes post cold tub which you don't have to do it crazy right start warm start at 45 50 degrees and do a few minutes um, I got it down to like this is 39 degrees and I try to do it for about two minutes two to three minutes um, just hop in get in get out and it's like a great way to start your day it's better than any cup of coffee well second to my you know good use coffee right? um, yeah, it's a great tool. It's a great thing. And you, you don't have to start with buying a expensive cold tub. Start with taking cold showers. Uh, get a horse trough or, um, you know, any sort of large container that will hold ice and water. Um, this is just something that's really convenient now because you don't have to change the water all that often. There's tons of ways to do this. And cold water doesn't get the wind. That's my saying. So we, uh, I'm gonna get in every morning. I've been doing it since 2016, um, and it's been really awesome. Just a great way to start the day. So here we go, and then we'll go have some coffee. Another thing I do, instead of sitting here, pondering if I'm gonna get in or not, because that's one of the hardest parts is just getting in. So what the easiest way to do it, is I have my clock so I know how long I've been in. And the moment I press start, then it's no more thinking. No more, oh, am I gonna get in or not? Am I gonna do this? It's just, you get in, you stop thinking. So you press start, and then you get in. So I like to go straight under. Head first, kind of gets it out of the way. Kind of like easy icebreaker, right? Now I don't just like ease in, I don't like toe in and then slowly get in. Just get in, get your head underneath the water all the way and then boom, you're done with it. Come out, try to stay, you know, neck deep. Um, constantly every few 30 seconds, every 20 seconds, kind of moving the water around because what happens is you build up that thermal layer next to your skin if you sit stagnant in the water so every once in a while just kind of moving my arms and legs Whew. and then just nice easy breathing and it basically becomes like a meditation you know it's just a, a easy way to clear your mind not think about anything you can't hide from the cold water so having a good time in here Whew. just get some good deep breaths in an easy way at the beginning when you're first starting to do it so that it can go by faster is if you count your breaths and then you'll know how many breaths you're gonna do if you do, say you wanna do exactly two minutes or exactly three minutes, you'll start to learn exactly how many breaths it takes so you know how far along you're in it, right? You don't even need a clock at that point. But um, after a while you can stop doing it and stop counting and just really try to kind of zone out, let your mind go free and uh, yeah, it's a great way to start the day. And just like that, we're already almost at two minutes. A lot quicker than you think. And you are feeling extra amazing here in about 30 seconds. 
and now we're awake and happy. <laughs> Get a little bit of sun before uh, go back in and make the coffee. Just kind of do a little bit of rewarming, which is nice. Some days I'll do sauna too. Some days I'll go straight cold stuff into sauna. Um, I try to change it up a lot, right? Like kind of change up the stimulus. But I don't want to always do the exact same routine when it comes to uh, some of the recovery tools. So trying to change it up a little bit. Right, so some mornings it's cold sub sauna, or then sometimes I do the sauna right after a workout, and sometimes I'll do the sauna in the evening, right? So I constantly am changing up when I'm doing it, you know, hopefully change the stimulus so that you still get better effects from it or get different ones or see which one I feel better from. Then I do my morning coffee, right? So 20 grams, doesn't have to be this nerdy. I'm kind of nerdy when it comes to coffee. Ode coffee grinder, there it is. Again, you don't have to be as nerdy as I do, as I am, but uh, yeah. Get your filter wet, get the cup a little warm inside there. Helps with just I always say if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have one, two, maybe two cups of coffee, I'm gonna have good cups of coffee. So throw a little hot water in there. You know you don't want boiling water. Like you want to run, the water to be around 200. Like so if you boil your water, just let it sit for about 30 minutes or 30 30 minutes, 30 seconds, and uh, let that temperature drop back down to like 215, 210, and then just put in like get all the grounds wet. If you want precise, this is, I do 50 grams of water. Kind of takes a little while. And then you let it sit for 30 seconds. And if you ain't saying, damn, that smells like a good cup of coffee, you got the wrong coffee. Good dudes will always make you say that. It's not a big deal. It was, I was in the military, so I want to say I was like 24. I, I, it was basically just out of necessity, just staying up on, um, I really started drinking over in Iraq. And uh, to stay up when we went out on like night missions and stuff. And, um, yeah, I was just like, I'd be a turret gunner, we'd be on a long, long drive, long convo convoy somewhere, and I was like, I gotta drink something. And so, I started drinking coffee. Funny story how I actually like got into like roasting coffee and wanting to get into a brand was, I was over there and I thought I was really smart and I knew about, a lot about coffee at the time, but, so I was on this website ordering coffee to send over there because I was running out. I was like, oh, this looks like good coffee, but I didn't know what the word green was next to it meant. And <laughs> so I get, I order a bunch of coffee, I don't know however how much, and um, it all ships over and it gets there and it's green coffee, which is unroasted coffee. And so I'm like, well, what the hell am I gonna do with all this now? So I, instead of ordering different coffee that had already been roasted, I ordered a air roaster. And so I actually started roasting my coffee in Iraq. <laughs> That's where I actually like got into it. So that was really, really cool so we had the freshest coffee in Fallujah and so good dudes coffee isn't crappy coffee you know we have a lot of single origin coffees all roasted to uh, a few different we have a you know a light roast medium roast dark roast for whatever flavor you like um, but yeah like I really take pride in having good beans sourced well you know a lot of coffee out there has mold on it and shit, and uh, we make sure that, you know, we're putting out a good product, so. It's not just to make money, I actually love coffee, and I'm a big coffee nerd, and so that's why I, uh, I wanted to get into the business of it. For nerds out there who wanna be like me, I do 20 grams of coffee grounds to 320 grams of water that I pour on it, so. If you get a scale, it's real easy to do it. You basically dump it in at 50 to 60 grams at a time, um, and then boom. That's it, and you got a fresh cup of coffee. If you don't want to be a nerd, you just pour water into your cup's full and just keep doing it. My buddy once told me men drink their coffee black, so I was like, damn right we do. The next part of my morning routine that I would typically do is I'll go sit outside and get my morning sun. Um, even if it's cloudy, I'll go outside. You know, Huber Huberman's talked about that a lot, how it basically sets you up so that you can sleep better at night, right? It sets your circadian rhythm if you go out and you get sun into your eyes and on your chest, uh, get your vitamin D. 
Um, I just feel better when I sit out in the sun in the mornings. So I'll go out, sit in the sun for about 10 minutes. Um, sometimes I like to walk in the grass, get my feet grounded. I don't know if that's really doing anything. Just trying to figure out all the things, right? So I can live a healthy, long life and, you know, not be sick. Oh, damn, that's really good. It's yeah, so normally not only do I just do it here, I make my boys come out and do it as well. So, you know, my fiance, like, try to do all, all the things that I'm trying to do, like, you know, help them set them up, right? So that they start to build good habits at a young age, right? Coming out, getting your son. You know, I don't, I don't make them put sunscreen on. I don't know. I don't know if, if I'm, what I'm doing is right, but I think it is. And so, you know, um, yeah, like people are scared of the sun. I like getting out of the sun. I like to eat red meat. I eat butter, uh, you know, cold tubs, workout, right? Like this is the best health insurance we can give ourselves like making sure that we do all the things that are right to keep us healthy. So that's typically what I do for my morning. After that, you know, have some breakfast and then we'll go get after it.